Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to continue playing the Elder Scrolls Online. Okay, so, moving on. Uh, Deadlight. She can talk to some people. What is up here? What? Sorry, I was just thinking. Ever since we returned from Fort Grief, I've been having strange visions. More forgotten memories bubbling to the surface. At least, I hope that's what it is. Some mortals who linger in Fargrave for too long go insane. Twice now, something triggered a return of memory. First, when the Collector examined my mask, and then when I disrupted the Cataclyst. But I just see fragments, nothing clear or precise. Funny, but I think the amulet has something to do with it. Yes. Whatever I did to the Cataclyst, and it was me, I'm certain of that, even if I don't understand how. It also charged the amulet. Like what happens to a Lucent when you place it in a Dynamis font. Except this energy draws out my memories. As I said, fragments. Glimpses of clarity in a haze of forgotten moments. I feel loneliness. I see a dark, enclosed space. A flash of blinding light. Nothing very useful or definitive, I'm afraid. Maybe Lyrinth can help me make sense of it. Yeah, maybe. I oh, have only three minutes left on this scroll. have broken with Vulcanar's Nakras. They retreat to a hidden stronghold in Deadlight. Where is Lirinth, mortal? As you heard, the blade bearers have found Sister Seldina and her cultists. The waking flame has nowhere left to run. I forced a cultist to tell me about Deadlight. It's a broken realm, apparently destroyed by Merun's Dagon eons ago. He gave it to the cult and they built a stronghold there. A clever hiding place. But the portal to the realm requires a special key. That we have not yet determined. But I have a plan. You must follow one of the groups of cultists, trail them to the portal, and take their key. If the portal key works like the keys to Fargrave, you'll also need the code to operate it. We will search for more cultists. Easy enough. Here, the locations my scouts found in the Deadlands. I suggest you start in the Sever. Find a key in the portal and we'll rendezvous before the assault begins. And take the Daedrat with you. His smell offends me. <laughs> what a dude. Let us find these mortal cultists and finish with them, Master. Then we can wreak vengeance on the traitorous Nokvras. As you say, Master, I remain in your debt and will do as you command. My nose will guide us, my rage will drive us, and my fury will freeze the cultists in their tracks. Let us hunt, Master. Back to the Deadlands. Well, there's one here, here, and over here.
Oh come on, we're not combat dead in combat. Actually, let's go back. This one is far away. Our mountain, our pet, they like uh, they belong to this place. I got the portal key. Okay. If we align the symbols properly, it should open the way to deadlight. We have what we need, Master. The deadlight portal lies to the west beyond. Oh, the this is the fort over here. As a delve right outside. Yeah, maybe we should have grabbed those side quests. I don't want to miss them, but yeah, we'll come back and we'll visit uh, this area again anyways. than I imagined. You did well to find this place, Rinkaius. Ah, mortal. Let us confer. Good. Since you found your way to this portal, I assume you also recovered a portal key and the cipher necessary to activate it? Very good. And I also assume that you heard, Rinkaius? Sister Saldina warded this portal not just to prevent my entry, but any other Daedric entity as well. Neither I, nor Rinkaius, nor Aerox will be able to step through this portal. Learn whatever you can about the Cataclyst and Sister Saldina's plans. Then I suppose you will want to kill Saldina for the mm -hmm. sake of Fargrave and Nern. Just keep an eye on the Anchorite. The events at Fort Grief have triggered an onset of memories. Did I say I was concerned? Just watch her. Neither we nor the Anchorite know what her memories will eventually reveal. Who she really is. None of us may like the answer. Go. We will wait here. Try not to destroy anything I may want to examine later. <laughs> yeah, sure. Ready when you are. All right, let's go. Dagon chased some long-forgotten enemy to this realm and laid waste to the plain. Then he awarded it to his mortal cultists, and they built a citadel here. It seems familiar. I don't know. It's just a feeling. I'm getting those kinds of impressions all the time now. Like the dam has cracked and the memories are spilling out. I wonder what it will be like when the dam finally bursts. Nothing that will help us find Sister Seldina or another Cataclyst, if that's what you're hoping. 
It's just a feeling. Let's keep moving. We should search for a way into the citadel. And let's try not to alert the entire fortress that we're here. Damn. We can't use this door. Can't open the gates. This looks like an archive of some sort. Let's see if it contains anything that can help. Bro, every us. single place, honestly, it looks amazing. I mean, look at this. It's really well done. Really well designed. I'm supposed to find something over here. That says Emperor Morica personally ordered Ella Giant to design the cataclysm for Mayrun's Dagon. She thought Mayrun's Dagon told her to? That's crazy. All right. Okay, so it's for mummy. So they forced Ella Giant to have visions and create the Cataclyst as part of some deal between the Longhouse Emperors and Mayrun's Dagon. But when Morikar wanted to ensure that his heirs ruled the world, Zeldina wants to see the world destroyed. Yes, can you believe it? They think they can make more of those terrible incarnates, and faster too. But have they built this new device, or do we still have time to stop them? She believes that Mayrun's Dagon will destroy the world with fire in order to remake it. After suffering at the hands of the Reach, she took up with Emperor Morika and joined the Waking Flame. Like she was trying to remake herself as well. Right, a daughter. I suppose she'd be Emperor Leovic's half-sister. Have you heard of anyone coming forward with such a claim? I'm not totally current on happenings in Tamriel, but even in Fargrave we hear rumors. Come on, we should keep searching. I've seen this place. Glimpse Honestly, I feel like this is the best deal, see? Like, at least the best looking one, the, the most complex. Take a look, please. That altar and my amulet. I wonder. It feels like they've actually okay. put in a lot I of effort no to create all of this stuff. I had an idea, and then suddenly, the memories are overwhelming. I see other people, hear their voices. They're filling the room. Yes, I've been here before. The amulet. It's like it's singing to me. I want to try something. The power I summoned to deal with the Riven Cataclyst. I think I can do that again. 
The amulet reacted when I did that before, when I was focusing on the cataclyst. This time, I want to focus on the amulet. I think it will answer me. By unlocking everything this mask has been keeping from me. I remember things that aren't here now. A totem in the stands, a starry globe, something in the mural. Watch closely when I concentrate on the amulet. I think you might see them too. If you see any of the items I mentioned, move closer and examine them. Uh, that's too much. Do you see them? Hurry and take a closer look. Do you know why I brought you here, novice Maraid? I... I do not revered sister. Oh, they know each other. Because I could not leave you in isolation any longer. You must know the truth. You are the daughter of Emperor Morakar. And I am your mother. We will finish your training what? here. Do not disappoint me. So she is the daughter of the Emperor? When Magnus saw the mortal world was flawed, he abandoned its creation. Foolishly, the other gods proceeded and doomed us to suffering. Learn this well. Joy is an illusion. Love is a lie. What became of Magnus, Mother? Magnus watches from the sun, waiting to repair what the others set amiss. You will give him that chance, Maraid. Everything depends on you. I don't understand the lesson of this tapestry. What does it mean? Mehrun's Dagon stands before Magnus as a weapon of hope. He possesses the power to shatter the mortal world so it can be remade. But a spark within the world is required to summon Dagon's cleansing fire from oblivion. You, my child, will be that spark. No, Mother. I... I can't do that. You dare deny your destiny, Maraid? The blood of emperors flows through your veins. This is your purpose. You will see it done. Giant. I can't do as she asks. I won't be responsible for the end of the world. I will forget you too, my Reed. But I will leave you with my name, and I'll hold on to your father's amulet. If you ever need your memories, find me. The amulet is the key. This portal will mm. take you to Fargrave, to a new life and a new world. Well, that was the plot. This is what happened here. This is what this DLC is all about. Just discover the most important thing. My mind feels like shattered glass, reflecting images from a thousand shards. How can I sort through it all? Years of missing memories, flooding back in mere moments. What happened after I placed the amulet on the altar? Then you know. Sister Seldina is my mother. A consort of Emperor Morikar. Is that why I was hidden away? Raised in secret? Gods. She raised me to destroy the world with an army of incarnates. To kill so many innocent people. It's all coming back. Ella Gion was ordered to make me a mask to protect me from my powers. But he secretly altered it to hide me from the Dagonists, from my mother. I have to confront her. If I can remember her now, then she can remember me too. No. I want her to see what I've become. The girl she tried to turn into a weapon is the same woman tearing down her wretched cult. 
The power of the mask is broken. I'm Moraid, but I'm also the Anchorite, and I'm through hiding from my past. Sister Seldina must be nearby. I'll put an end to this myself. Are you sure about that? Damn, she's fast. The Daedra are attacking! Nakros broke through the wards! Bro, go away. In a big family, you have to know how to slap. Together, we can destroy Nern and set everything aright. Set aright? I refuse to be your weapon, mother. I should have waited for you. You, you have sure. to stop her. You dare turn my daughter against me? You will be cleansed in the fire that remakes the world! <laughs> yeah, true. You eliminated Sister Seraphina and served up more cars than the Her blood will fuel my perfected cataclyst. With it, I shall conquer Fargrave for Mayrun's Dagon. And after that, your world shall. Well, we gotta kill this guy as well. My amulet friend! Keep it safe! Can you hear me, mortal? I'm opening a path to Fargrave. Hurry! Well, I should have some progress. Ah, good. Now that you're here, tell me what happened in Deadland. Vakanas Nakfraz and Sister Seldina is dead. Attacked the portal to Deadlight. They overwhelmed and eventually shattered the ward. Rinkaius and I were forced to retreat. It seems I retrieved you just in time. Wait. Where is the Anchorite? Why would Valkanaz Nakros take the Anchorite? We saw that she had some power over the Cataclyst, but what use of that would Nakros have? Unless... Could he have succeeded in building his own Cataclyst? You unlocked her memories? Overcome the power of her mask? Interesting. And Nakros has a... What did you call it? A perfected cataclyst. Tell me, what did the Anchorite remember? The daughter of a Longhouse Emperor and a powerful follower of Mehrun's Dagon. That's a recipe for, quite literally, disaster. But why did Nokfroz take the Anchorite? We can't allow Nokfroz to harm the Anchorite or spill a drop of her blood. We will deal with that shortly. You ended the threat of Sister Seldina and revealed things I did not know. I am satisfied with that little mortal. Medium armor. Take this with my thanks. Uh, hold up, need a scroll, of course. The Anchorite's weak. We can't leave the Anchorite in Valkanaz Nokfraz's hands. That would be a very bad idea. He can use her blood to create devastatingly powerful incarnates. Abominations even I could not stand against. 
We must assault his fortress, Ardent Hope. I always have a plan, mortal. We will require allies for this. Bring Caius and his blade bearers, and a way to get inside. The Waking Flame portal key will do, if we can attune it properly. And we need Aerox. He should be familiar with Ardent Hope. Okay. Portal keys, when properly attuned, can open paths where none existed before. But we require an expert for this. <laughs> the rat. Madam Wim, little mortal. She likes you. Convince her to help. If we have to assault the front gate, then we've already lost. Go on. Use your charms to convince Madam Wim to aid us once more. In the meantime, I want to try another spell of identification on the twisted rod you recovered from an Ilark summit. I believe I am close to determining its original purpose. Why would it? They were allies mere moments ago. I doubt he expects trouble from a group of mortals he despises. It's possible the key already contains the coordinates to enter the fortress. I assume Sister Seldina visited the place many times. Perhaps, if time were not an issue. Besides, I can open my own portals to locations I am familiar with. I rarely use portal keys. We require an expert, and Madam Wim knows more about secret portals and byways than anyone in Fargrave, including me. Mortal blood in Daedric Essence performs similar functions, and blood tied to rituals makes them more powerful. The Cataclysts are basically rituals made manifest. Royal blood flows through the Anchorite's veins. That makes it valuable indeed. You gave it to me to study. I studied it. It protects its secrets very well, but I have learned a few things while you were busy in Deadlight. It is an old relic that contains an enchantment as twisted as its form. It is disconcerting. Not exactly, not yet. But Aerox's essence is somehow tied to the relic. That could be why he was attracted to it. I will continue to examine it as time permits. Who knows? It may have a use we can exploit should the need arise. It is one of the 777 impregnable citadels that house Mayroon's Dagon's legions. Nockfrost commands the garrison, protected by a cabal of Dramora blood adepts. That's why we need Aerox once we get inside. If we believe the Daedrat, he was once a mighty Daedra in service to Mayroon's Dagon, as well as Nockfrost's superior. If that is true, then he must know how to navigate the fortress. If we attempt a frontal attack, we'll never reach the Anchorite. We have the same chance we always have, and we will find a way. What you told me raises questions about the Anchorite that I must have answers to. And you do not want Mehrun's Dagon's plans to succeed. So we shall deal with Nokfroz, together. Sounds like a good plan to me. That was the mission Dead Light. Hope you guys have enjoyed it.